Shalom, I'd like to give all praises to Yahweh by Shmi Ashai, by Hashim Akakudash, the bonus to the Apostle James of Great Millstone. So, this is Shalom, blessed to the elect. Okay, um, this is going to be a, a quick video. Alright, it says grocery stores will run out of food in three days if a long haul trucker stop working. Alright, and we all know that supermarkets all right, carry uh, three days worth of food supply. Alright, after that, they, they run out and they need to be refilled with these uh with these truckers okay now i made a video about this uh i think about a week ago all right and i wanted to make a video on it separately all right um uh sometime this year in april all right there's gonna be um about i believe eight thousand truckers that are that are gonna go on straight down there in washington dc all right and the and the group the mat the, the group is called um black smoke matters all right now uh i remember reading an article where it said um they have about eight thousand members if i'm not mistaken all right and basically what they're complaining about is um you know these truckers aren't getting paid you know for um their break time you know they're, they're uh they're taking away a lot of taxes than they should be you know in, in their checks i think they said about um, like four hundred twenty dollars or something like that ar around there, if if I can remember right, all right. Um, they're not getting paid. Um. For, for uh, it, what is it? The, the the taxes. They're not getting paid for their break. Um, you know, it, it's also a dangerous job. You know, to to work as a you know going around the nation. You know, driving trucks. You know, to different parts of the, of America. You know, and um. Also um. I can't remember. Um, at the top of my head, uh, they also for um, damn, it's blanked out. Um, what was it? Damn, I can't remember. But the 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 they're gonna go on March, all right, and it's gonna take place on uh, uh, in April of this year, all right, and, and the and the movement is called Black Smoke Matters, all right. And a lot of these truckers, you know, uh, uh, they're 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 getting very uh, they're getting uh, very complacent. You know, they're, they're not they're not they're not happy. You know, uh, about the way they're being treated. All right. Now it says um trucking moves seventy one percent of the freight in the United States, and if it were to suddenly cease, the effects would be more drastic than you might expect. All right, exactly, man. Because a lot of us, including you know us, you know um we, we ex you know. We depend, you know, on, on uh, these truckers because, you know, um, here in America, you're forced to go to a supermarket, you know. You can't go hunt for your own food, all right. And, and that's part of uh, the white man uh, wanting you to worship him as he's the most high, like he's the most high, okay. He want, the white man wants you to, to go to him for everything, for food, clothing, medic, medical help, you know, for financial help, you know. Because why? He, he wants to be... a. Uh, uh, as he, he wants to sit in the throne of the Most High, as if he was the Most High, you know. It says in May 2018, truck drivers in Brazil went on strike for a week, and it paralyzed the country in unexpected ways. Exactly, man. Meaning, you know, uh, uh, they cut their food supply. You know, uh, uh, some of these trucks carry food supply, medicine, all right, which is two two important things. All right. Uh, food and and, and uh, uh, medicine because a lot of people depend on that you know we, we all have to eat you know uh, clothing you know and and, and other sorts of uh, 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 things you know but the most important things is is, is uh, uh, food and medicine you know because a lot of people have health problems you know health conditions all right it says the country as gas stations ran out of fuel for instance public transit halted Without trucking, we would be naked, starving, and homeless. All right. So you see how important it is, uh, uh, how how important these truckers are to the economy. All right. Mike Robbins, a longtime trucker and leader of trucker strike groups Black Smoke Matters, you see, told Business Insider a study by the American Trucking Association outlined what would happen if truckers were to stop working. The effects would hit hospitals, gas stations, ATM, grocery stores, and even your garbage can. I right, am this you know and this thing's gonna affect a lot you know a lot more than that <clears throat> um 
you got hospitals you know like i said the, the, there's different types of trucks and truckers that carry different things you know um hospitals oh it says hospitals uh you know uh banks you know uh your local store you know walmart and stuff and of course your amazon prime package would be delayed basic med med medical supplies like syringes and ca catheters would be at risk of running out medication of cancer patients that use radio pharmaceuticals which only have a lifespan of a few hours would expire during the 2018 stru truck strike in brazil a lack of medical supplies was a key choke point for the country government point for the country government security forces escorted trucks with supplies to hospitals and doubted and doubled fines against striking truckers who were carrying medical cargo mail and package delivery could stop on the other hand most ups and fedex delivery drivers are uni unionized so it's less likely that we would see less last mile service from those major providers suddenly to stop suddenly stop should other truckers strike gas stations and grocery stores will start to run out of supplies the ata wrote that reports of a trucker work stoppage would stir up consumer panic all right and you already see how people are acting with this government shutdown all right so imagine when the most high fully shuts down the 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 the, the government and and, and and stops these truckers from uh uh, uh from from delivering all, all all these uh uh these goods throughout america all right people are really gonna panic all right panic is not even the word all right and that's what the most is gonna bring man on top of a uh, disease martial law you know these different creatures out here man that 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 um the so-called white man created that he's getting ready to release on, on the masses of the people you know The, the Lord said it's gonna be a time unlike no other, all right. Never, never recorded on planet Earth, all right. No nation never went uh, n uh, uh, has never went through, man, all right. Not unlike when hurricanes or other natural disasters lead to folks emptying grocery stores. News of a truck stoppage, whether on the local level, state, or regional level, or nationwide, will spur hoarding and drastic increases in consumer purchases. Of essential goods according to the report shortages will materialize quickly and could lead to civil unrest all right so you, you see how, <clears throat> you see how people today you know are acting with this uh, government partial shutdown all right there are unrest why because they're not getting paid they can't pay uh, they can't buy food they can't feed their children all right etc etc so imagine when the truckers stop man well, when you try to go to the supermarket, there ain't going to be no food. There ain't going to be no water. There ain't going to be no medicine. All right? Further up the supply chain, manufacturing delays will come, would become rampant. Computer and auto manufacturers, for instance, build their goods as components are received throughout the day. Within just a few hours, a lack of truck deliveries of those components would incur significant disruption costs and thousands of employees would be put out of work yeah exactly and, that, and that'll uh, uh you know that'll also fulfill the, the prophecy the granny shall cease all right meaning uh there ain't gonna be no job all right it shall be few all right and that's what the so-called white man's getting ready to do all right that's what the most is getting ready to do through ESO. all right because the most is going to use ESO to do all this in 1974, truckers went on strike in the U.S. for as long as three days. In some areas, around 100,000 truckers were laid off, and the National Guard was called in Ohio to deploy tear gas and forcibly remove trucks from blocking the highways. All right, so that that that's, that 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 strike is coming back again, man. All right, that strike also led to food shortages nationwide. The ATA said in its report that. With a strike as long as three days, essentials like bottled water, powdered milk, and canned food would be gone. 
the consumer panic that developed during the first day of the strike would mushroom. ATMs would be cashless, <laughs> all right? Gas stations would run out of fuel and garbage would be, be begin piling up in urban and suburban zones rather than going to a landfill. Un uncollected and deteriorating waste products create rich breeding grounds for micronism, insects, and other variant vermin. The ATA wrote, hazardous materials and medical waste will introduce toxins as well as infectious diseases into living environments, okay? And that's what the Lord's getting ready to bring. He said he's going to bring pestilence, man, disease, okay? Here in America, and goods that are shipped over from Asia would stay in container ports on the West Coast. An uncomfortable situation would become dire should truckers stop working for more than a week. You see? So it shows you how important truckers are, man, to the to the to the U.S. All right, to everybody, man. That goes hand in hand with the uh, government shutdown, man, with the government. All right, because a lot of people rely on the government, a lot of uh, Jakes, all right, Israelites, you know, and, 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 and you know, everybody here as a whole in America rely on these truckers, all right, to get their food supply, their medicine, their their gas, their money. They're closed. Without truckers transporting fuel, most people and businesses would run, run out of gas. Most most form of transportation would no longer function. Even airplanes would remain grounded as truck delivers 80% of the fuel used by the nation's airports. So that's a big portion. So most I cut that out, there ain't going to be no way of, of, of leaving, man. You know? Leaving the plate, leaving the country, you know, and, and the Lord said, uh, um, and, and that's scriptural because uh, it said, um, tr trying to roughly paraphrase it, uh, a man shall try to uh, uh, escape. I can't remember. Uh, so, so lucky. I'm just trying to uh, go through this quick, but um, basically, you know, uh, uh, you know, you're gonna be stuck, man. Wherever you at, you know, you you're gonna be stuck, man. If you're trying to leave uh, America because uh, uh, all hell's breaking loose. You know, you ain't going to be able to fly to another country, all right? Because of martial law, all right? And, and, and there ain't going to be no, no fuel for these planes, all right? So you're going to be stuck uh, uh, You're gonna be stuck here in America, all right? It says, um, as truck delivers 8% of the fuel used by the nation's airport, without access to automobile tra travel, people will be unable to get to work, causing labor shortages and increased economic damage. So this is very important, man. Truckers are are, are big... Uh, effect to the to the um, uh, uh, to America's uh, economy, man. They are America's economy. If you really look at it, they're the ones who who, who bring the goods, and this and th that's how these these companies make their money. Okay. The AT wrote, "Without cars, many people cannot access grocery stores, banks, doctors, and other daily needs." Hospitals will begin to exhaust oxygen supplies by seven to ten days into the work stoppage. Most alarmingly, America's supplies of clean drinking water would run dry in as little as two weeks, as the ATA wrote. On average, truck deliveries, purification chemicals to water supply plants every scene to 14 days. Without these chemicals, water cannot be purified and made safe for drinking. Without truck deliveries of purification chemicals, water supply plants will run out of drinkable water in 14 to 28 days. All right. Are you a truck driver with a story about the industry? All right. Yeah, man. All right. And there's going to be a, 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 a strike that's going to happen this year in, in April. I don't know. Uh, I believe it's the 19th, if I'm not mistaken. All right. And, and it has to do with that group. All right. With this group. All right. Uh, Black Smoke Matters. All right, meaning uh, it, uh, 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 these truckers, man. All right, because the, they're not getting uh, the uh, the 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 uh, the treatment they're supposed to be getting. All right, and a lot of these truckers, you know, they're not getting paid what they're uh, supposed to. You know, they're getting taxed way too much. All right, they're not getting paid for their break time. All right. And that's going to cause these uh, uh, these truckers, man, to, 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 to stop working, man. All right? 
Um, this is the book of 2nd Ezra, chapter 15, verse 19. A man shall have no pity upon his neighbor, but shall destroy their houses with the sword and spoil their goods because of the lack of bread and for great tribulation. All right? And that's, this is what the Lord is getting ready to do, man. All right? And, not, and you see how the people are acting uh, today, man. You know how they're acting right now, man, with this partial government shutdown. All right? Now, imagine when that government shutdown is fully implemented and these truckers fully stop working, man. All hell's gonna break loose, man. All right, and nobody's gonna have, uh, you know, nobody's gonna have no pity, man. Like the scripture says, man. All right. So this is no joke, man. All right. The Lord said, you know, He's gonna protect His elect. They're gonna have uh, bread to eat, man. All right. But you know, with that, you know, I like to give all praises to Yahweh by Shimei Shai, by Hashem Rakhakudash, double honors to the apostles of GMS of Great Millstone. And so it tastes of Shalom, blessings to the elect. Shalom.